Purple fringe is a type of aberration that shows up as a purple outline on high contrast objects in a scene, especially with older or lower quality lenses. Most of the time you want to avoid or reduce this, but if you're emulating certain looks or trying to dirty up your footage, you can use After Effects to simulate this normally ugly aberration. Start by creating a new comp. In this case, I'm gonna make it high definition and 24 frames a second. Now I already have all my footage edited how I want it, so I'm just gonna bring that in right now. To make things easier, all your footage should be in its own comp. When testing effects, I often use a grid so I can see how it distorts the image. In this case, it won't work as well, so we'll need to test it against footage that has areas of strong contrast. With our footage added to the comp, we'll duplicate the layer and rename it Fringe. To better see what we're working on, we're gonna solo the layer for now. I also don't need any audio, so I'm just gonna disable that. Add a Gaussian blur. Make sure you're adding the one under blur and sharpen and not the Gaussian blur legacy effect and set the blurriness to four. This will determine how strong and how much of the purple fringe we add to our footage. Less blur for a stronger effect. Next, we'll add a find edges effect. This will help us find the areas of contrast we need to add a purple fringe to. Without the blur, there would be more edges and many of them would be stronger. Because we want the purple fringe to appear in areas of strong contrast, we'll add the curves effect. And add a very strong contrast curve like this to minimize some of the weaker edges. Adjusting this curve is another way to change the strength of this overall effect. Since we have a white background, we'll use the linear color key to remove it. Simply change the key color to pure white. Leaving the tolerance and softness of their default values will be just fine. While the black won't show up in our final image, you can toggle the transparency grid to verify the key. There are two reasons I keyed out the white rather than using a blending mode like Multiply. First, we're going to need to use a different blending mode later on. And second, this gives you the option to experiment with choking or expanding the matte to strengthen or weaken the overall effect. Next, we'll add a tint effect and matte black to a nice purple color. In this case, we're gonna go with this. The exact color doesn't matter and you might wanna choose a slightly different shade because it will go with your footage better. If you wanna do something else entirely, you could use a completely different color. But in this case, because we're emulating a specific effect, we wanna stick with a nice purple hue. Next, we'll change the layer's blend mode to color and change the opacity to 50%. Unsolo the layer, and if you zoom in, you could see the purple fringe applied to your image. And some images are gonna look better than others. This one I like because if we look at the lettuce or the bowl, we'll see a really nice bloom on these areas of contrast, much like you would with a lesser quality lens. Another thing we can do to maybe make it a little bit more subtle, depending on your image, is change the color. If we just darken it, it will make it really subtle and probably a little bit more accurate, depending on what you're trying to emulate. How exactly this effect looks will depend on your image and of course the colors in your image. If you have colors that are close to what you've chosen for the edge color, then it won't show up as much. To change the strength of the effect, you can adjust the blurriness in your Gaussian blur, the curve in your curves effect, the color tint you use, and the opacity of the layer itself. Just check what it looks like against all of your footage, especially if you're applying it to multiple clips, just so you don't have any surprises. And to dirty up your footage more, or even give it a vintage look, watch this tutorial.